Good girl. You got this, girlfriend. Good job. Good girl. You're good. You got this, girlfriend. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. A lot of people know you as the trainer, Jenna Antonucci, but how would you describe what horseology is? So horseology was my like was my pivot. So um, and we've talked about this some and there's been references to it through our Archangelo journey. Wins the lead. Archangelo in front, trying to hold on for the final 50 yards, and it's Archangelo to win the test of the champion. Our goal with Horseology was to bring all of our experiences, good, bad, and indifferent, you know, to the table and to bring that to our clients of, you know, we've gone out and done all of these things and we're gonna bring them to you on one plate. There you go. Good boy. Good man. Good. Prior to Archangelo, you know, personally and professionally was really working on a pivot. You know, horses genuinely make my soul happy. Like I love being around them, the smell of them, their energy, just watching them, how they, how they do. Building out horseology really makes a lot of sense. We have a lot of owners combined. We have a lot of reach combined. Um, this industry can be rather fractured. This person does this, this person does this. Owners end up bouncing all around to these different spots, trying to put it all together, and we are gonna offer everything from conception to retirement. When we all sat around and was talking about horseology, not only was it women owned, minority owned, but the fact that we were going to be all inclusive in, in everything that we do, I knew, one, we're doing something that nobody else is doing, and two, I needed to build something that people would understand what we were doing. And, the, and by not being a horse person, it came to me so much easier. You know, I was able to kind of break it down to be where anybody can go onto the website and read and look and understand. You made it relatable for people who aren't used to yes. or necessarily understand horse racing. Yes, yes. We do a lot of uh, client communication and um, I, I really think that is one of the things that, I know that is one of the things that makes us so different. What's so special about horseology and what they have here? Um, the fact that it's uprung by women um, who have not had the easiest journey in a, in a role that's mostly filled by men. I think it's also cool that horseology just does everything from beginning to end. We do foaling, uh, breeding, racing training, rehab, uh, retirement. There's not many programs that do that. Usually they just stick to one and just build a big program off that, but we kind of take each piece um, and create something big with it. Obviously, Jenna is a great business partner and you know has experience a lot and has a great business mind and, and we've been so blessed and, and I'm so grateful for the clients that we have and the horses that we've been able to, to be around. That is a blight, 110%. Yes. <laughs> that is all blight. Look at all that shoulder though, come on now. It's a big old, that deep, deep shoulder. This was very much an industry of pa and grandpa and great granddad enjoying sporting um, and horses were their sport. And, you know, the girls, you know, up until 
Modern time weren't even allowed on the backside in New York racing, but you just keep doing. And so our little corner of the industry, scratching and clawing and doing and creating new relationships with younger owners and younger people, you know, the older generation is going to just intrinsically be more comfortable working with a male trainer that's maybe their counterpart or their peer because that's the society that they grew up in and how they worked and their relationships in business were with other businessmen. And so now you're infusing business women that run their business and invest and do, and it's, it's okay that it's done different. Different doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just we do it differently.